Delta 2023. Okowa, Ibori, face of looms. Hello, my amazing family. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I wish you all an amazing new week. Please don't forget to give us a like or a thumbs up if this is the first time. Thank you. A fresh crisis is brewing in Delta State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, following alleged disagreements between Governor Ifai Okowa and the former Governor Chief James Ibori, the undisputable leader of the party in the state, over who should be the party's governorship flag bearer in 2023, reports Okongboa Ahiwere from Asaba. As preparations for the next general elections take center stage in Delta State, the nation has learned that all may not be well within the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the oil-rich state. It appears that underneath the facade of camaraderie among party leaders lies a deep-rooted disagreement that is polarizing the PDP in the state. Observers of the politics of the state claim that the emergence of two factions within the party is a strong pointer to that. The formation of DC 23, a pressure group under the leadership of Iguyota Amori, an associate of Chief Ibori, and the revitalization of Delta political vanguard DPV, led by Michael Diden, a loyalist of Governor Okowa, who is also chairman of Delta State Oil Producing Areas Commission, the Sopadic, are clear signs of a crack and obvious lack of consensus among party leaders on key issues party sources claimed. Why DC 23 is championing the emergence of an Urubo PDP flag bearer during the next governorship election in the state? The Data Political Vanguard DPV says it stands committed to Governor Okowa and will support whoever is his choice as the party's governorship candidate in 2023. Ex-Governor Ibori is alleged to be behind DC-23, why it is believed that the DPV enjoys the support of the incumbent governor. The two groups have not left any guess about their being opposed to each other. Little wonder that some political analysts are of the opinion that both pressure groups are being used as proxies in the fight for battle of the soul of the party. At the heart of the Cold War between two leaders is a perception that ex-governor James Ibori has been on the receiving end of an overbearing Okoa on key party issues. Some supporters of the former governor and other party shiftings have been citing examples of such issues. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. The first major disagreement surfaced between the two PDP leaders in 2017 with the removal of the then Speaker of the Data State House of Assembly, Honorable Mondi Igbuya, despite Ibori's opposition to the plan to impeach him. Although Okowa denied having anything to do with the removal, many believed Igbuya's removal could not happen without his concert. The development freed nervous between the governor's supporters and Ibori's camp for some time. Another key flashpoint 
was the choice of Delta State PDP chairman, while Ibori supported Honorable Godwin Atose, ex chairman of Sapele local government area, for the job. It was Lance Okoa overruled Ibori, installing his protege, Kingsley Esiso, as the party's chairman in the state. Lately, Ibori has absented himself from major PDP activities in the state, including the inauguration ceremonies of state PDP chairman Kingsley Esiso on two occasions. The final blow to their frosty relationship is the alleged rejection of James Ibori's preferred candidate as the 2023 PDP governorship flag bearer, David Edebivye. Edebivye, an Ibori loyalist, served alongside Okoa in 1999 as Economic Planning Commissioner and Finance Commissioner during Ibori's eight year tenure. He returned as Finance Commissioner during the COA's first tenure in 2014, before his appointment as Chief of Staff, a position he lost during a recent cabinet shakeup. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. Why Okowa's preferred candidate for the governorship in 2023 remains a tightly kept secret. The nation gathered that Okowa may not be disposed to Ibori's choice as his successor. It was learned that Okowa's opposition to Edebivye's candidacy stems from fear that he might not do his bidding and may even sideline him in the scheme of things. It was also gathered that many party leaders in the governor's camp are opposed to Edebivye's choice, a source who spoke on condition of anonymity said that why BV, an accomplished technocrat, might be better suited as governor owing to his strong background as an economist and banker, is considered a poor team player and may not carry party leaders along on key issues. According to the source, any attempt by the PDP to feed an unpopular candidate in 2023 would spell doom for the party, especially with a resurgent APC led by Deputy Senate President Oharisi Ovie Omo Agege. Investigations by the nation revealed that Governor Infine Okowa may also want a clean break from the suffocating control of the Ibori dynasty, which David a Debivier represents another grass against Okoa, according to sources, is his alleged removal of Ibori's allies from his administration under the guise of a cabinet reshuffle and the fact that he was not consulted on the newly constituted State Executive Council. The removal of David a Debivier Chief of Staff to Okoa and Secretary to State Government, Shiedu Ibie have allegedly continued to anoint the ex-governor to no end it was learned. Ex-Governor Ibore is unhappy as the manner all his political allies who had hitherto held plump position were weeded out. The ex-governor is miffed that his input was not even sought when the new cabinet was being formed. It's all said another transgression against ex-governor Ibori is a coerced vice like grip of party structure and subsequent control of delegates with elections fast approaching. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. 
The source said, you will agree with me that since assumption of office, Okowa has muzzled vibrant competition in the party and instead replace it with a strange conceptual process in selecting party leaders. There is also the allegation that Governor Okowa renegade on agreements reached in a peace move brokered by James Ibori between Dr. Ifai Okowa and ex-governor Emmanuel Uduaga. It was alleged that resolutions of that meeting have been observed largely in breach by Okowa. This state of affairs has further strained relationship between the pair. But will a concession be forged on time? Or will the Delta PDP implode over its impasse? Time we tell. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. It we are mad to political fraud. If G3, Ibori, or Godfatherism is still dictating or influencing who governs data states in 2023. James Onanefe Ibori and his cowboys should not assume unnecessary importance as they have abused and used up their political relevance. Their tongues should purge all fraudulent, questionable character and their cronies from corridors of power for better progress ahead. Why is it that ex-governors never want to and off completely. Why do they always want to teleguide incubate? It is about time that a state is freed from the grip of Ibori's dynasty. Delta state not be Lagos. So let's do away with Godfatherism in all its ramifications as it happened in Edo State. Anybody where they dribble make him come out for road. Ibori, Uduaga, and other past governors should give us a breathing space. But please don't forget to give us a like, a thumbs up, and please hit on the subscription button down below. I'm number one is plug. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.